Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomatics Engineering. So in today's lecture, we are going to learn about a new plugin in QGIS that will help us to compute the zonal statistics on a multi-band raster image at once. So before starting this lecture, let me introduce about the layers that I am going to use for this tutorial. So I have a NDVI images for different dates for Rajasthan region. So here I have total 5 number of NDVI for different dates. That is a raster image. And for vector, here I have a village polygons for Rajasthan region. So for today's tutorial, our objective is to compute zonal status these polygons over these NDVI layers. So here we have 5 NDVI layers and for zonal statistics we have to compute it one by one with each raster layer because the zonal statistics tool that is already available in QGIS it will take only a single band image at once but we want to compute it for a multi band image so that firstly we have to create a multi band raster image from these 5 TIFF images so for the creation of multi band raster image firstly we have to go on raster then click on miscellaneous then click on build virtual raster and in input layers you have to select all these five layers and resolution should be average and tick on this checkbox where it is written as a place each input file into a separate band this build virtual raster tool create a multi-band raster image from these five input layers now click on run and now you can see that this tool gives us a multi-band raster images from these NDVI images. If we will go on the properties of this raster image, we can see that there are total number of 5 bands where each band shows the NDVI of different dates. And now we have to compute the zonal statistics over this multi-band raster image. For that, we have to install a plugin. And before installing the plugin, we have to visit this website of GitHub. I will provide this link in the description also whereby the Demaxian Labs a plugin QGIS zonal statistics multi-band is created so with the help of this plugin that we have to manually install we have to follow the instruction that is written here in this website so for installing this plugin we have to go on plugin section then click on manage and install plugin in QGIS so firstly go on plugins then click on manage and install plugin and then on the settings tabs, enable show all experimental plugins. Then we have to click on settings tabs and then tick this checkbox that says the show also experimental plugins. And now this website says as and add a repository named Dimaxian Labs with the following URL. So you have to copy this URL from this website and add this into this repository, plugin repository. So for adding this repository, you have to click on add, then name it as a name it as a Dimaxian Labs and paste the URL in the URL section. Now click on OK. It will take some time and after that you can see that in plugin repository section, this URL is added. And now you have to click on after that press reload all repositories. So we have to click on this reload all repositories. And now for installing plugin, finally go on plugins and then click on manage and install plugin. And then all or not install tab search for zonal statistics for multi-band raster tool. Now close this plugin toolbar. And again we have to go on plugin then click on manage and install plugin and in the all plugin section we have to search for zonal statistics for multi band raster. Now this tool is visible here and it says that this plugin has an experimental version available but we can install this experimental plugin. So just click on install experimental plugin and now it says that plugin installed successfully. Now close this tab and from this processing toolbox you can see that a new tool with the name of Dimaxian Labs is added here and now for the multi band raster zonal statistics you have to click on this zonal statistics tool and now in the raster layer you have to select a multi band raster image that is our virtual image that we have created from build virtual raster and then you have to select that vector layer so here our vector layer is this village boundary and output output column prefix name i am writing it as zo and statistics to calculate so here i want mean ndvi value of each polygon so i am selecting 
mean here and click on ok then click on run so it will take some time because there are so many polygons in my shape file and we have five bands in this virtual image so it will run five times and now it says that the task is completed and now if we will check this vector attribute table we can see that the five new columns are added here which shows the mean ndvi of each polygon so using this zonal statistics for multi band raster plugin from dimaxian labs you can run the zonal statistics tool for a multi band raster image so i hope you understand about this plugin for multi band raster image and i hope you liked this video and if you are liking these kind of qgis series so let me know in the comment section and thank you very much